Welcome, Leo. How are you? This is my Sunday plan. I'm doing a mid-November calibration. Calling on Spirit to see what's coming in here in November 2022, mid-November. Um, take a look at your surroundings. See what your environment looks like. See what Spirit wants us to know. So just remember, please, take what resonates and leave the rest. Calling on Spirit for Leo. take a look around at your surroundings and we have a lot of Mars energy with some judgment some Capricorn energy a person might be a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces of course a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces can be someone with a lot significant water placement in their birth chart we know that. We'll try to touch topic there. Um, if you take a look around in your surroundings in mid-November. Oh, I guess I better hit up here first. Uh, uh, revelation. I see the energy of determination as well. Something about love. Determination. And it's also prayer, incantation, love spells, um, and then destruction. Maybe praying for something to not be destroyed, right? So if that's the energy that you see, and when you look around in mid-November, we have a revolution and renewal. Put that energy there. Again, if this is a Cancer, it could be a Capricorn. Um, if it's a Scorpio or a Taurus. And then it could also be a Pisces or a Virgo. Right, guys? Okay. Spirit wants us to be right. <laughs> Definitely. Very important. Yeah, I see a lot of passion here for mini Leo uh, in the middle of the month um, having a lot of fun um, but a lot of passion about a love affair um, a lot of passion I don't know there's a lot of passion about our children <clears throat> somebody here is an authority figure very serious being it's about being realistic spirit says and somebody wanting to accomplish Something so we have that Saturn energy, very strong. Um, if you look around and your 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 time and passing this test, something about restraint. Um, somebody uh, really keeping their feet on the ground is challenging, particularly our self control. Somebody is gonna need. To put a lid on it. Yeah, yeah. Having to put a lid on my desires. Maybe we unexpectedly do. Someone unexpectedly desires you. It's coming in. It's, it's Mars energy. It's very hot. Yeah. It says it's going to work out. Spirit says it's going to work out. Um, and then somebody could even have anger. And it has everything to do with a sex drive. A lot of sex drive. There. Wow. We got that coming in. All right, I guess with this, let's just get some more resonation. In the Eight of Pentacles, Spirit says, if you know, you've been putting a lot of your effort into something here, and you are, Spirit says, you know, applying yourself. That's where your energy's been going, right? Uh, it's been going into it. 
We see that. You know that. What's our energy going into? That person. That desire. You know, nobody's perfect. But damn it, this is the perfect thing for me. And somebody's wishes will be fulfilled. Your wishes will be fulfilled mid and end November. Somebody's wishes being fulfilled. Rock and roll. And we're going to find out how what we got to do to do that. And so far it's to put a lid on that shit. Something about sex. Stop talking about it. You know, I don't know. We're going to find out because this downfall and failure, it's been a failure. Uh, maybe we've just been cautious. But our ideas and our plans, you know, we have to be very, very careful about being selfish here, Spirit says, or greedy. going to be important for you guys. Let's not be selfish or greedy. And yeah. Maybe somebody's been selfish and greedy, right? And holding out on you. However that fits. I see these feelings coming in. Of honesty. Um, somebody just is imagining a very fair, warm-hearted. Imagining... When that day comes that we can trust each other. And this all balances itself out. Because when you take a look around. At the end of the month. In the middle of the month. Again, renewal. And it's a revolution. Revolution. Which is all about standing up for what I want. Letting you know I want you. Something like that. And Spirit says, in the middle of all of this, and then to coming to in towards the end of it, somebody's going to have a new idea about you, or you're going to have a new idea um, in how to apply that energy and how to apply yourself. Um, Spirit wants Leos to know that you are very valuable. We're going to see just how valuable we are, um, how valuable our feelings are. That's nice. I like that energy. And uh, again, just being valued. Very important coming in. It's very valued. And... Uh, Again, another message with inside of a message. Absolute vigilance. Like, how am I going to do this? Leo says, right? Like, get to it, woman. Well, I'm getting there. Vigilance and discretion. Okay, so earlier we said put a lid on it and a couple of other things. This is your advice from Spirit in order to get this or get them. Somebody is going to need to... Uh, Take a look around. And it's about not being so obvious. Please don't make it so obvious here. Very important. Currently, Spirit says, not making it so obvious. Maybe we're not. But we need to take a look around and really make sure that we're not making it so obvious. Maybe you think you're not making it so obvious, but it is very obvious Let's recalibrate that because that's exactly why I'm doing this calibration reading is to help us, help Leo. And the Four of Swords, yep, it's all about how you respond to it. It's all about how they respond to you to create this harmony. So if you think that you have won the battle, somebody says we are very exhausted uh, and, but peaceful. And resting now to replenish our strength. Putting this to rest. Putting a lid on 
that Mars energy, which is, again, taking action. Getting sex, giving sex. It's a, it can break it down unexpectedly getting some sex. Coming in with the devil. And again, the judgment, which is all about renewal and promotion. I do see that it's time to look back and reconsider our actions. So we don't want to have to look back and regret our actions, right? So if we get this message in time, we must, you know, we have to forgive. There's, it's a, it's a very forgiving energy, lightening up, right? When we forgive, we lighten up. We put a lid on it. Forgive and forget. Somebody needs to. But even in a more simple sense, it's about discipline and structure and taking our time, being responsible. You know, the test of time here, very much so in this change, and it's been disruptive. But Spirit says there will be more changes in the mid of the month. And like it or not, uh, this is all about accepting things here, if need be, as well, right? We need to accept. Yeah. I, I, I dig it. I mean, that's just that vibe. And, and again, uh, Leo, you guys are the positive. You're the white. You're the light. You're, you're very accepting energy, typically. But that's why, you know, our birth chart, planet placements, everything plays, makes us all very unique individuals. So this is just in general, take what resonates and leave the rest. But I think it's good advice, you know, because if, if it's been a downfall um, for us, it's been a failure, um, planning has been influenced by selfishness and greed. On both, on all sides of the fence. This is what we're going to, this is what it looks like mid-November. And this is what we can do. So good luck in your situation, guys. And until next time, better hit that like button before we leave, please. Thank you. Shalom.